Hey, welcome back, everybody. There's a lot of stuff that's been hard to find during this pandemic. And on that list, maybe workout equipment. Well, listen, our next guest says you can get a full body workout, no equipment necessary. Fitness instructor, Nadia Kordic. Hi, Nadia. Hi, how are you? We are super excited to be breaking a sweat with you today. But first, we got to ask a big awesome. question. Since we're just using our own body weight, is that as effective as working out with actual weights? Absolutely. And, and you know what? In fact, it can actually be more effective. And there's also less chance of injury when you're doing body weight training exercises. So I'm going to be taking you through quite a few things that's going to help increase your fitness level and your strength as well as your motivation. I love that. Okay. Why don't we literally jump right into this training? It's a jump squat with a twist. So take us through the first move. Absolutely. Okay. So this is a plyo plyometric move and it's here to help build endurance and strength at the same time. So we're going to widen our legs a little bit wider than hip width apart. You're going to come down into a squat and then you're going to pop up and then sag your feet and come to one side and then come back, jump back in the center, sit down low on that squat to work your glutes and your legs and then pop over to the other side, jump back and then sit down nice and low and then repeat the same thing a little bit faster again. Holy smokes, I can feel that burn. That's awesome, right? Your glutes, your thighs, everything, yeah. Is there a, a, a version, like a, a version for people who wanna take things down a notch or who live above their landlord? Like I do? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Because we don't want to disturb the neighbors. So for this, we just take the jump out of it. So you'll just sit down in okay. your squat and then you're going to come up, no jump. And then you're going to turn to one side and then back to the front. And if you want to engage your upper body muscles a little bit, you squeeze your hands together and then come down, like come on up, stag your feet without the jump and then come on back and repeat it again. Same thing. Super important to mention that all these can be done with a low inver low intensity version, more apartment friendly version. And we do these exercises for 60 seconds each, all of them. Woo. <laughs> Plyometrics get the job done. And you've got another exercise for us. This one is called the kneel to jump squat. Take us through it. Yes. Okay. So another jump training move. So you're going to come down on your right knee, right to the ground. And then the left knee is going to fall the, the right. So you're in kneeling, in kneeling position. Then same way you came down, you come back up, right leg, then left leg falls. Oh, and then yeah. you jump at the top, sort of like a mini tug jump. And then you repeat the same thing again. And likewise, if you want to engage your upper body muscles, you can always squeeze your hands together or put them up in the air to increase some intensity, right? And then jump at the top and then keep repeating that again for 60 seconds. And is there an apartment friendly version for this one or people with uh, maybe some funny knees? A hundred percent. So apartment friendly version, or if you're having any sort of knee issue or joint issue, you can always put a pillow down. Or if you can't go down all the way, you can always just turn it into an air squat. And once again, squeeze oh, yeah. your fists together to engage your upper body. Come on down that squat, making sure your knees are in alignment with your butt, working your glutes, glutes as well as your shoulders, your triceps, your biceps, your hands. Oh yeah, I like that. Always keeping it soft and yeah. the top, right? Yeah. Plyometrics, that's great because it's strength and cardio. Right now, you've got a sequence for a full body cardio routine so take us through this yeah so this body weight cardio is great because it gets your heart rate up and also works your entire body so we've got what's called the flow of movement so for this one we're gonna do two jacks and then we do two tuck jumps and then we do a couple of high knees at the end two high knees so two jack okay two tuck jumps and then two high knees perfect yep yep how many again i can't even count now <laughs> you just keep going, keep flowing through it for about 60 seconds. So you can always set your timer. And then when the timer goes off, you're done. I'm actually so afraid to Perfect. try that one because of my yeah. floors. So can you show me the apartment Absolutely. friendly one for this? A hundred percent. So with that same thing, once again, we always take the jump out of it for the more low intensity version. So we're okay. here, your jacks are right here, two of them. And then your tuck jumps, you can do like little mini jumps. And then your high knees are right here so that we're not pounding the floor or pounding. Oh, that's our great. Joints, right. So right here, two little jumps and then high knees is like kind of like an exaggerated march. Woo. Oh, Perfect, I like that. That's awesome. good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. 
Just let us catch his breath. <laughs> Mel, I love how Mel's not stopping. Look at her. Oh, she yeah, is sorry. so no, in the sorry. zone right now. No, Mel, I love it. I love star. you. I honor your intensity. I honor yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Okay, now, next, Nadia, you're going to take us through some suspension training with, with an exercise that's called the inchworm. But first, the before inchworm, we inch yeah. like a worm, tell us what suspension <laughs> training is. <laughs> So suspension training is a style of body weight training, body weight resistance training, where you use your body weight as resistance. And like plyometrics, it's um, a strength-based movement. Helps to build strength and endurance at the same time. Oh, so amazing. with Love this, it. yeah, right? It's a great movement. So with this inchworm, shoulders down and back, standing nice and tall. You're gonna bend into your knees, hands on the floor, and you're gonna walk out into a plank position. And you're just going to hold it here for a couple seconds, just for a beat or two. And then we walk it right back up to the top and then we squeeze our glutes to the top. So that was the more intense version, the high intensity version. So for the low intensity version, the modified version, you can come down here, drop your knees. So it takes pressure off your upper body and then come on back up slow, right up to the top and then squeeze. Squeeze your butt. And if you want to even take it up more of a notch and bring it up even, even higher intensity, you can do a push up at the bottom, come on up to the top, and then walk back, keeping your legs a little bit straighter than not if you want to get that hamstring stretch as you would in like a deadlift. And then come on up. Right. So to kick it up even oh, more, good. grab that push up when you're at the bottom, right? <laughs> oh, come wow. Right that's good. So the, so the choice really is yours good. depending on where you're at, right? Oh, now she's just showing off. <laughs> awesome, guys. Good work, guys. Oh, Nadia, this, this is good. Is good. Oh. This is good. Right? And of course, Full you're, you're not going to just leave it at like one planking exercise. We're doing some more planking Never. exercises. So this one is yoga inspired. Take us through this. One of my favorites as well helps. Yoga is great because it helps to build both strength and flexibility at the same time. So similarly, you're going to walk forward as we did in our inchworm. Okay. okay, come into that plank position and just hold it for a beat. You're gonna come down into your chaturanga and flow into an upward dog, shining your chest up to the sky. And then you're gonna come back into a plank and then flow right into a side plank and then back and repeat, same thing, lower down. Chaturanga, come on up, upward dog, back into your plank and then stagger your feet and you do the side plank onto the other side and now if oh, you want to yes. do a little bit of a more yeah right modified you just drop your knees same wow thing. Down, knees down upward dog still with your knees down or up it's up to you you can turn to a side plank with your knees drop stagger your feet and then back to the front lower it down stagger your feet with your knees down for a more modified version and repeat the same thing and it's still a great workout no matter which version you do the next one is Still a planking, which I always think is a super effective workout, especially for ladies, because a so lot of us avoid you. the upper body. So I love this absolutely. next one. It's the wide leg yeah. plank with an extended arm. So take us through this. Yeah, so absolutely. So this is a form of stability training. And what that does for this particular exercise, it helps activate our trunk muscles and our stabilizers, which often get neglected in our regular form of training. So to come into this, you're gonna come back like how you did before into a plank position, but this time you're gonna widen your legs, create that nice wide base to help you with your balance. And you're just gonna stabilize and hold your body in this position and extend your right arm just like this and just hold just for a few seconds. Ooh. Drop the right arm down and then repeat on the left side. And to modify this, oh my God. the version of this, right? We drop our knees. And I should say that you want to make sure that you keep your oh. hips down. Very, very important that you keep your hips in alignment. It makes it a little right. bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging as well. Yeah. So modified my, my version, torso wants the to knees twist. stay down. Oh. Exactly. My right. That naturally should want to go up. Really bad. You want to you want to rotate your hip downward because going up like this a little bit easier. You want to force your body or encourage it, not force, encourage your body to move your hips downward. And you do this right. like once again, everything 60, 60 seconds if you can, and then build up eventually. Right. Nadia, I know one. this was like a TV version exercise, but like, <laughs> I don't know about you, Mel. This, my heart rate's going. This is incredible. Yes. So the idea of doing 100%. it for, you know, 60 seconds at a time is incredible. So the question is, how right. much time should we set aside to do this whole circuit? And how many times a week should we do it? 
I would say set aside anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes because you may not be able to do it for 60 seconds all the way through. You might have to break in between, which is completely fine. And I would start yeah. off with three days and then maybe build up to five days a week. Nadia, you did it again. Thank you so much for showing us these exercises. No worries. Thank you so much for having me. But don't go anywhere just yet because we're going to be right back.